it's so mature. Hila, what in the last three games do you feel has really come together for this group collectively that has kind of leading to success? Uh, Anthony Edwards. Um, it's it's kind of easy to just hop on that train and just leading with following um, by example, physically, emotionally. Uh, however you can you can put it, he's leading, and it's easy for our guys to kind of you know jump in the train with that. When you see a young player assume that kind of responsibility, what do you think has allowed him to to be comfortable in that role? I guess now and get, and get better that way. I mean, I think just learning from his mistakes. You know, um, I mean, he's kind of he just kind of driving the ship right now. I mean, it's and it's like I said, it's just contagious for our group. It's allowing guys to. You know, just hold him accountable, watch him listen, and then go do it. And then, you know, whenever you talk to him again after that, it's always a learning um, experience for him. And you see him just taking it and just putting it into his toolbox and trying to utilize it as soon as he can. And in this league, that's, that's a special um, talent to have, to just kind of take things, incorporate it into what you're doing and be successful at the same time. How does the patience work between the two of you when you have it going? He kind of seems like he's happy to watch you fill it up and then like, like well, Saturday was a good example, right? You were had it really going the first half, then he yeah. kind of took it from there in the second half. Like how do you play off of each other? I mean, I'm a fan of it, so I'm a fan of anybody that's, you know, dominating the game. Any given night, whoever it is, I'm a fan if it's J Mac one night and then Jalen Noel the next. I'm a fan and I'm gonna show that and um it allows you to kind of be, you know, selfless when you're watching and trying to do for what's working, and then you, you look up and it starts working for you. And I, I feel like me and him kind of have that rapport going on where he's feeding off my energy and I'm feeding off his. And, and if neither one of us is go you see Slow Mo and Jaden and, and Rudy and those guys kind of being, you know, that for us. So the system that Coach has us playing in right now is allowing anybody to kind of step up and thrive in it. I think just making all the 50-50 the, the, the plays, you know, everybody, the five that's out there on the floor is trying to make the effort of making that 50-50 play, not, you know, relying on the next guy to get it. Everybody's scraping and trying to get it. And if one guy gets beat, there's two guys there to help now versus just one or nobody. So I think that's where you kind of make a turn where guys are kind of playing for each other. You guys kind of figured out maybe how to play with Rudy on that end of the floor and, and to the table yeah. Kind of yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a balance between what he what he needs that works for him and what we do that he may not be accustomed to, you know, just being in the system that he was in before for so long, you know, so um, I think it was just a, a balance of trying to meet in the middle for both for both sides. You know, he's a, a one-man anchor himself, so trying to hop on whatever's working for him and make it easier for him, and then what we need is kind of second, but it's working out. You know, Got all the wrinkles out. Where does your play demo rank? You know, pecking order wise, you said Ant, but I would think you fall in like right there, like one A and one B. Sure. I mean, I just try to win. You know, um, step up and just try to lead as, as as much as I can. By some nights it might be by example, it might be vocal the next, and it might just be passing the ball one night. Just trying to figure out what the game's going to present for me and, and try to just fall into that place. You guys have seen an uptick in your three point shooting. the case earlier in the season. What's, what's improved on an offense that's generated more these looks for the three-point range of leading to you guys hitting them? Uh, just chemistry. Um, I mean, what y'all seen us, what we presented to the, to the world early in the year was a team with not a lot of chemistry trying to figure it out. And um, now we, we've worked on that chemistry. We've ironed out a few of the wrinkles and got some consistent bodies out there that, that have kind of formed our identity, I would say, and it's allowed us to make easy plays for each other. It's allowed us to make one more and know where guys are going to be. It's allowed us to know where guys, you know, strengths and weaknesses are. You know, we don't really get that with a team that has no chemistry. Do you think these back-to-back the same team are tough, especially when you're the winning team on the first game? Um, looking back at Houston and what happened, is that on your guys' mind to have a stronger approach? And not yeah, definitely just the approach. Um, my coach would always say business approach. 
um, no matter who you're playing, and it will allow you to flow into what's supposed to happen versus kind of having your mind made on this team can't really beat you or whatever. And it allows you to trick yourself in, in, into the basketball guys returning the favor with a loss or a close game. So.